In this video, you will see the demo of the full stack application you will be building in the MernStack Masterclass. So you will be building this front-end mentor challenge of link sharing app. So you can see how it looks. On the left side, we have preview links of various platforms like GitHub, YouTube, and so on. And on the right side, we have profile information section. We will also have this preview section where you can see all your added links in a nice format. And this is all responsive application. So you will learn how to build this entire application using MernStack. And for styling, we will be using Tailwind CSS, which is the most popular CSS framework. So let me show you the demo of the application. So we have this login screen and we also have register screen. We also have a nice responsive form validation, as you can see here. So let me register a new user. You can see the error message goes away as soon as you enter valid data, which is awesome. And for the password, you can see we have eight characters validation. We also have password and confirm password match validation. And when I click on create new account button, you can see registration is successful and we're automatically redirected to login page. Now I will log in with the recently registered user. You can see this nicely designed dashboard page is displayed. Initially, we don't have profile image, user information, and links available, so we see the skeleton loading effect, which is as per the front end mentor challenge. So let me upload profile picture of the user. I will select this image. You can see it's updated instantly on left side and also on right side. Let me add the first name and last name details also. You can see we have nice disabled effect with saving text and also toast notification is displayed. And on the left side preview also, it gets updated immediately. Right now we don't have any links, so let's add a couple of links. Here we have list of predefined platforms to choose from, which can be customized. I will select YouTube platform and I will add my YouTube channel link and I will click on save. You can see it's saved to the database. So even if I refresh, you still have one link available. Let me add a couple of more links. You can see a nice animation while adding new link and the link is added at the top of the list instead of at the end. Let me add my LinkedIn profile URL. You can see changes are saved. And whenever we add a new link, it instantly updates on the left side preview section also. I will add my GitHub profile URL now. All their preview links are also clickable, so I can click on one of them. It opens in the new browser tab. And as we add more links, the left section instantly updates with that change. And if the content grows, we get this nice scroll bar. And you can also remove any link. So as soon as I remove link, it's also removed from the left preview section. We also have preview button, which allows us to see the preview of the user profile. Just like we have a public Twitter profile, which anyone can see, you can access your public profile by clicking on share link button and the profile URL will be copied to your clipboard. And if I paste the copied URL, you can see your public profile page, where you can see all the public details of user and also click on any of those links. And we also have drag and drop functionality available, so I can drag and drop any of link, and on the left side preview, also you can see it updated instantly. We also have validation, so if you try to save empty link, you will get error as you can see here. And each user will have unique platform link. For example, I have single LinkedIn profile. So if I try to add the LinkedIn platform again, you can see we get error saying platform with selected name already exists. So one user cannot add multiple links for the same platform. So let me remove that link. So this is a really nice full stack application you will be building using MernStack. 
And for styling, we're using Tailwind CSS, and this is completely responsive application. So if I make the browser smaller, you can see it's displayed nicely. And all the content is scrollable, same as in desktop view. And if I click on profile icon, profile page is also displayed nicely. And if we click on preview icon, we can see the preview page also. And public profile page is also displayed properly, as you can see here. If I increase the browser window, you can see it adjust as per the screen size. And we're again using Tailwind CSS for creating this responsive design. We also have validation while uploading profile image. So for large image, you can see we get this error message. So we have specific width and height validation. We also have image type validation. So we can only upload PNG and JPG images. You can see all other types of files are disabled, but if I change the select format, and try to upload a different type of file, you can see we get error message again. And if I select valid image, you will see that it instantly reflects on the left side preview also. As you can see here. Also, whenever I update the name and save it, it reflects on the left side. We also have implemented lazy loading for all the pages using React. So you can see there is loading text displayed while the page is not yet loaded. Now let me log in with another user which is already registered. As you can see, this is a different user who has his own list of links added. We have validations for profile form also. So you can see error message for all these fields is displayed. So you will learn to build this amazing full stack application with nice drag and drop effect for links. You will learn easiest way to implement this drag and drop animation functionality without writing a lot of code. You can see the left preview instantly updates and we will be using Redux Toolkit as our state management tool for this application. You will also learn how to create this custom dropdown with icons and also customize it with more options if needed. And each of these platforms has different background colors. You will learn how to do it using Tailwind CSS. And we're using MongoDB as our database where all the user and links information will be stored. As we have registered new user also, you can see we have two users right now and we're using secure cookie based authentication for this application. So we're not storing the token in the local storage. You will learn how to do it. So it's more secure and you don't need to manually send that token to server with every request. We also have route protection added. So as we're already logged in, we cannot access login page or register page. Instead, you will be automatically redirected to dashboard page. I can only access profile, dashboard or preview page as a logged in user. And once logged out, I can only access login and register pages, and I cannot access dashboard page. As you can see, we're redirected to login page. So profile and preview pages are also not accessible. You will also learn how to deploy this MERN stack application to production. So by building this application, you will learn how to implement secure cookie-based authentication how to use Redux Toolkit for managing application state, how to allow uploading image of specific dimension and type, how to create protected routes, how to implement copy to clipboard functionality, how to implement lazy loading in React, how to use React Context API to share data between components, how to maintain logged in user session, how to implement smooth animation with drag and drop functionality. How to add skeleton loading effect. How to properly display backend unhandled errors on front end. How to deploy this full stack application on production. And much, much more. So it's a great project to add to your portfolio and share it with clients and recruiters for better job opportunities. 
So instead of building the same Netflix clone or YouTube clone that you can find on most developers' resumes, you can build this application and stand out from the crowd to get better job opportunities. And if you have any doubts about this link sharing application code, you can also schedule a one-on-one -on -one meeting with me and I will get your doubts cleared. You can access the source code of this entire application in the course itself, whose link you can find in the description. So in this Mernstack Masterclass, in the initial two parts, you will learn basics of Mernstack from scratch. It's a three plus hours of video content where you will learn how to create backend and frontend application from scratch and how to connect them together along with implementing secure cookie-based authentication. And after that, you will be building this full stack link sharing application to get more hands-on experience of building and deploying a complete Mern stack app. If you enroll in this course today, you will get 20% discount and lifetime access to this course. The discount offer is valid only for today. So make sure to grab it before the offer expires.